23 families still live in the cargo shipping containers brought by the Georgian government to Oni five years ago as temporary shelters for the homeless after the devastating earthquake. Faced with no alternative, they have made the best of their very difficult circumstances. Winter comes and it is impossible to live in a container. It's very hard to live here. The overall economic crisis, which is contributing to the emigration of Oni's Jews, is a constant concern to the mayor. The process of the Jews leaving Oni is very painful to us, because Oni without Jews will be like a vacuum. But I think that if the Jews get jobs and are occupied here, where there are a lot of possibilities because of our rich natural resources, they will be glad to live here, maintaining two real homelands, there in Israel and here in Oni. A senior member of the Georgian parliament, visiting Oni on this day, shared with us his thoughts. We can distinguish two waves in the process of the Jews leaving Georgia. The first one was in 1970s when it became possible for some Jews to return to their native land. It is notable that in other former republics of the USSR it was almost impossible for Jews to immigrate. It was however possible in Georgia, although for Georgians it was painful because we did not understand. Why were they leaving these places? Later we realized that for them their return to their native land was historically significant. Now the second wave of immigration is on, but this time it can also be explained by the hard economic conditions in Georgia. Not only Jews but others, including Georgians, are also living. As in other Georgian communities, Oni's Jewish leadership has organized Hebrew language classes to help adults and children to prepare for what appears to be their inevitable departure. I have been teaching Hebrew for a year and three months. I have two groups of adults and children, 25 in total. Some of them are already preparing to emigrate to Israel. The others believe that every Jew must speak his or her own mother language wherever they are, in Israel or in the diaspora. Now, 40 families from the 60 still living in Oni are ready to emigrate. These students are already daughters of Israel, as I am. This morning, my son and his family left us to live in Israel for their permanent residence. We, his parents, remain here in Georgia. Of course, we are unhappy. We will be lonely without them, but still, we wish them a good trip and a happy life there. Even if everyone goes, the Georgian Jews will never forget Georgia. Their native places like Raja and Oni, the places where they were born and lived most of their lives, where they grew up with Georgian customs and traditions. They will never forget their praying place where they used to come three times a day. And this love and friendship with the Georgians will always exist wherever the Jews live. I can't say that I am going to leave soon. 
It is hard to leave your house, your land, the places you know. There in Israel it's also difficult. When you arrive, you don't have a home or a job and you don't know the language. Especially for a person my age, I'm 60. It can be difficult to start everything there, unlike the young. We tell our children the history of Georgia, its legends and fairy tales, which have become so dear to us. Except for praying, one can hear these stories first. We have preserved in our Jewish community only our holidays and the belief in Shabbat and Torah, while our flesh and blood, our moral values, our essence is Georgia. Our people feel a great pride in their synagogue even though they may have been dressed in rags and wore old shoes their main concern was to be able to talk directly to god the visit of president sharad nadze to oni was an event as unique in its own right as the occasion which brought him here. Greatly popular to all of Oni, his visit was a special tribute to Oni's Jewish community and to the many other visitors on this day from America, Europe, Israel, and from other Georgian cities who came to share the ceremonies and festivities. Welcome in our little city only. It's a celebration which dedicates 100th anniversary of our beautiful synagogue. Outside 